Alright guys, welcome back. Um, I'm going to give a shot at starting up my ISDT and giving this new um, parallel charge board here a run for its money. So I've got my my uh, 1025 um, watt power source here uh, from RC Juice. I paid like 70 bucks for it. Wasn't that bad. 1200 watts, come on, that's way more than uh, you're going to get from, you know, Eternity or... Um, you know, one of those, you know, brand name uh, power supplies. <clears throat> All right, so let's see. We have our barrel connector here, which we're going to plug in red to red, black to black. And we are going to take this guy and plug it in and turn this SISDT on. All right, she's charged up. Looks like she's running. We are going to throw this parallel charger on. Once I put the lead on here, uh, make sure you put on your lead uh, positive to positive and negative to negative. There, you've got your black wire over here and your red red wire here. Um, there's a a positive. Is it positive and a negative there? So just make sure when you put your balance lead in, um, you're putting them in the uh, correct way. You know, red is positive, black is negative. And that just clips in there like that. Nice and snug. It's got like a little snap in there, so you don't have to just guess, guess if it's in there or not. It kind of snapped in there. All right, so we've got that. Now we are going to check um, each battery and make sure that we are around the uh, same rate there. You know, I think the I think the um, the charging board actually uh, displays displays the uh, current. If I'm wrong, I'm not a hundred percent. So we are just going to check each battery separately. <laughs> All right. So I don't know if you can um, if you can see that close enough. But we've got each cell around, let's see, 291 to 298. All right. Let's check this one. Also making sure that you're putting uh, the ground wire um, to the negative source here on the ISDT. We are going to check this guy, if I can get it in there correctly, because these pins aren't necessarily... There we go. All right, so uh, this one looks a little uh, more normal, if, if that makes any sense. Uh, this one's about 369 to uh, 368. Um, so I see this one's probably going to be more compatible with uh, some of the other batteries. So we're going to put this one over here on the left. Let's check out this battery. 3.75 all the way around. Alright, what was the other one again? 3.75 all the way around on that one. This one's uh, about 6.9, so I think 6.9 and 7.5 should be close enough. Let's see what else. Come on, come on. I think they would just make like a like a port that just instantly bonds. All right, we've got um, six nine to about six zero here. I think that's pretty compatible with the others. <coughs> we've got one more here, which is three ten to uh, three forty. 
Um, I don't, uh, I'm going to have to do these other two um, separately because uh, they're not they're not close to each other at all. So I'll do those separately, and then we'll just double check these again. I want to make sure they're in about the. Uh, I, I, I believe from what I've learned, it's uh, the 0.5 uh, to a whole point uh, difference. So see this one. Um, the first cell is 369, the second one's 367, third 367, and fourth 369. So anything, you know, within a hole up or down from it should be good. So 369, and this one's 369 as well. So that one should be good. And this one is... 375. So I think uh, that's that's a little out of our range there. We'll have to do that one separately as well. So we've got three three sets here. So I guess I can't charge them all at the same time. But we're going to go ahead and charge these two at the same time. So we are going to plug in our ISDT to the parallel charge board as well as the balance lead. in there. Alright, she's nice and snug. Now we are going to plug in one of these to the balance lead. Let's make sure we put it in there the right way. Which, that's really great. Um, it's it's opposite. Uh, I can't really uh, put it very close. Um, but each each port here for the uh, balance lead is is uh, this is all in the same direction, and that's all in the same direction. So you're not accidentally gonna like put it in upside down. It's always gonna go in the right way it's supposed to go in. <coughs> so we are going to plug this guy in, and it goes ahead, and what it shows us that we are at. At number one, we are about 3.7. No, it shows all of the cells here. 370, number two is 359, number three is 368, number four is 360. That is interesting. All right, so we're going to plug that guy in. There's one. I'm going to try and get all this uh, in view here. But I'm trying to take caution with some of the magnetic parts I have on my on my board here. I'm not sure if that's going to uh, mess with that or not. Okay, so we're going to try another one here. Let's see what happens. Let's plug that one in. So now it's, see I'm not sure if it's still telling me the um, the cells for uh, my first one, my second one. So we're going to go through the ISDT here. We are going to go to task. We are going to storage, because I want to storage, uh, charge these. Um, let's see, 3.8 is uh, the appropriate voltage for storage, is from what I hear. So that's what I'm going to store it at. Um, I'm just going to keep it at 1 amp for current, 1.0 amps. Um, it's a 4S cell count, and then I'm just going to hit start. And there we go, my little fan just kicked on to the ISDT there. And we should be uh, storage charging. Yeah, you can see it going up. It's uh, from 369, starting with the lower cells, um, pretty much leading up to 3.8. Now, how can I see... Oh, I think I just canceled it on accident. Alright, so we're going to do that again. Start.
All right, so now uh, both of our both of our batteries here should be should be good to go. Charging right off the parallel board. All right, so I th think I went through everything 100%. Um, I guess I'll have to wait and see um, how long these batteries take to charge, and then I'll be able to check them both to make sure they're at the same cell count. Then I'll know um, for 100% that that they. Uh, actually charged together in the same fashion. <clears throat> Alright, well, uh, if you have any questions or comments um, about the process or about any of uh, the gear or equipment that I have here, uh, feel free to leave a comment or let me know. Um, I'm pretty excited about this still, <laughs> so, um, you know, I can't, I can't wait to learn how to, how to use it better. So, um, you know, give me a thumb, give me a like, and uh, subscribe. And um, let me know if you guys want to see any more content or if there's something in particular you'd like to see. And, uh, you know, I'd be happy to show you and break it open. Um, all right. I hope, uh, I hope that was informative and uh, you, learned, you learned something. Um, I appreciate your time, and I'll see you guys later.